Greetings Laddingtons I just received a voice message from YouTube and they said Aesthetic Physik That's all So I opened the mail, so it's a voice message from YouTube and that's the only thing they said Aesthetic Physik Then a few minutes later they sent me um, a video message where all the YouTube employees, they were in a, some office and the clip was only a few seconds and all started doing surprise flexes and then they shouted out fucking massive physique okay I am um, just as in a recent video I said that YouTube said that I must post physique they didn't actually say any of it they didn't send me a voice message you might have you might have already figured it out, but I thought to point it out anyway. Some people don't know when I'm joking. So it was a joke, YouTube. No one at YouTube sent me such a voice message. But again, it would have been fun. It would have been a fun gesture of them to uh, say something like that. Anyway, as you can clearly see, I'm checking in yet again from Jotunheim. And I wanted to share some wisdom with you all. Initially, as I also mentioned in a recent video, I thought to make a video in regards to if you're fat or skinny and go to the gym for the first time, but I thought instead to give some overall advice to anyone who embarks upon a new journey, whatever type of journey it might be. And I do believe I haven't made such a video before. There are so many videos I've planned for three, four years and I haven't gotten around to do it. Many such videos and um, yeah, I'm being completely honest. It's uh, always something else that uh, comes up. But anyway, it's supposed to be called something like Enjoy the journey, but it doesn't sound so clickbaity, so I will come up with something else. But keep in mind, I always, I only clickbait if it's something if it's good advice or good insights that I think most most of you uh, will benefit from including myself and I will talk a bit about how I feel now I will talk about my feelings remember it's okay for men to talk about feelings it's um, good and normal then of course you shouldn't succumb to your feelings and you shouldn't be you know spreading you know spreading negative energy I spread positive energy um, anyway here's the thing we can take the gym example first then I will talk about my own feelings if you're new in the gym and if you are a skinny guy and you think to yourself oh I can't wait until I'm jacked or if you're really fat and you say I can't wait until I am a bit more, a bit leaner. Or if you're just a, yeah, a regular young guy and you say, oh, I can't wait to be a hero titan class monstrosity. But here's something to keep in mind. And I can, I can vouch for this myself. I can say this is absolutely true. When I look back on my own, my own journey, so to speak. Um, the the progression is the fun part the journey is the fun part now you might say isn't it more fun to go to the gym when you are already a ymir primordial giant class monstrosity now of course I'm not a giant monstrosity I'm more a um, a Thor level monstrosity or something I don't know, I, I won't put labels on myself like that. I'm far too humble. As you all know, it would be far too narcissistic and arrogant to call myself uh, a Jotunheim class monstrosity. But um, anyway, I will, uh, I will get on to the point. You might think that it's so fun to train and you can't wait until you get to a certain state. And maybe you watch other guys or you watch my training videos or you watch 
you know, you see some pictures of me or someone else being all jacked, you know, being in the gym, and you might think to yourself, ah, oh, I can't wait until I'm there. And I would just say to you that don't think that way. Enjoy your own journey. And believe you me, I am not saying this to be you know, a nice guy who tries to, um, you know, say this for some reason. I say it because it's true. It is true. If I look back upon all of my years, I have so many fond memories on, you know, from the time I was on the make, so to speak. So if you look upon me and say, oh, how nice it would, how nice it must be for you who are already jacked and aesthetic and you can post physique for the whole world to see on your YouTube or whatever it might be. Um, but here's the thing, it's not about who sees you, it's not necessarily about how many people see you, who you can post physique to, who you can you know, impress or whatever. It's about your own journey. It's about, you know, your motivation. It comes from within. And when you see yourself that you're getting bigger and you might start at, you know, you are a skinny guy and you weigh 60 kilos and then half a year later, you've trained really hard. You weigh 65 kilos. That is your victory. That is what makes you happy that you've set up a goal or it might be a strength goal the first time you take 100 kilos in the bench press it's a great achievement because it's something that you're a normal guy doesn't do without training I still remember my first time I took 100 kilos in the bench press that's about 220 pounds since then I've taken 170 and 180 you can yeah, search on my channel you can see the lifts of course it felt great as well but you know, it's the when I when I reminisce about all these years. It's the times where you were still building yourself, the beginning of the journey. So keep that in mind. So if you're so if you're ever envious of me, uh, don't be <laughs> don't be envious of me. At least not in that aspect. I'm envious of you. I'm envious of the guy who's just started training. Imagine how fun. Imagine being in that position. You have your iron journey in front of you. Uh, and you can just, you know, make that progression, learn new things. What an absolute luxury. So know this, I envy you. If you're in that position, I envy you. Now, to take another example. I have talked a bit about my feelings now. I will talk even more about my feelings. Um, yeah, it's true, I will. So, you've heard me talk about my... You've heard me talk about my podcast. And then you might say... If you are some sort of YouTuber or content creator, you might say to me, oh, how fun it is to make videos for you. You have 110,000 subscribers. Uh, you can reach a lot of people in a video. Um, so why are you excited for something new where you have uh, literally 1% of your YouTube audience? And it's true. Why would I be excited for a podcast? Maybe I reach 500 people in a podcast and 50,000 in, um, in a YouTube video. You know, I've seen some good views as of late. It's not about the novelty of it. You know, I've never been someone who seeks novelty. I prefer to commit to something, stick with it for a long period of time. But what it is, it's also the progression. Um, if you want more information about the my own YouTube dilemma, you can search on the channel for Black Pills and Broken Dreams. We're talking a bit about how I deal emotionally with, uh, you know, having been shadow banned on YouTube and haven't really seen so much growth as of late. Being demonetized, of course, doesn't help. But yeah, you know, the money on YouTube it uh, was never any priority anyway. But it is a it is a little factor at least. So you might say, why am I then more excited for a podcast where I have? many many fewer subscribers um yes it's because i can still see the progression i can still see the podcast growing i can still see guys saying oh you know this is uh, worth listening to this is worth spending 50 minutes to hear your thoughts on this matter and i mean i remember my own youtube journey 
Um, been such a, such a great journey. It's been with me since yeah, since I was basically a boy. Of uh, well, I don't know if you can call yourself a boy when you're 23, but in retrospect, I felt a bit like it. Um, or if I look back on me, um, it's a lifetime ago. It's uh, yeah, it feels like a hundred years. But anyway, point being, you might say then, oh, but isn't it fun for you when you already have a, a rather large reach, you know, nothing compared to someone like PewDiePie. But you know, that's also uh, an aspect I would like to mention. You know, do I compare myself to PewDiePie and say, oh, he has so many more subscribers, I could never reach it. No, uh, that's him. That's his journey. He is very proud of him. He's very proud of his journey. I'm also a bit proud of him being Swedish. We come from very similar backgrounds. Uh, of course, he's from Gothenburg. I'm from Stockholm. The, the glorious and beautiful pearl of the Baltic, Stockholm. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I think PewDiePie does great work. And if I see his success, it doesn't mean my success, or if I can call it that, is any lessened. I'm happy and proud of my own achievement. Um, and also, same thing for you. I've said this before, you shouldn't compare yourself so much to others. So if you are then a guy weighing 60 kilos and then you look at someone like me or whomever it might be and you say, oh, I have only gained 5 kilos and this guy he has gained 20 kilos or whatever it might be. Or someone might say, oh, I only recently got my um, 100 kilo bench press and this other guy he um, he got it after a week. I mean it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is the accomplishment, the sense of achievement you have within you. You don't need to focus on anyone else. And I'm not saying this to be Mr. Feelgood or anything. I'm saying this from a position of of a vast experience. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm a venerable ancient, so I can say this uh, type of things. I say it now to you, I'm being completely honest when I say it. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm envious of a lot of guys who have, you know, that sort of journey in front of them. So yeah, keep that in mind. And also, when it comes to completely different, unrelated things, I'm excited for my podcast because it's uh, something new, I can still see it grow. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, I don't seem to be able to grow. Um, YouTube, if I, if I post physique, you may uh, unshadow ban me. So in regards to the podcast, yeah, I can still see it grow. I get happy for each new subscriber on YouTube. Yeah, it, uh, it doesn't seem to grow for whatever reason, of course I still love making videos, I do. I, um, it, uh, it makes me happy uh, helping others. And this is a you know, common uh, human trait that you have. You, uh, since you are social creatures, you gain happiness from helping others. It's uh, very normal indeed. So I still a like making videos, but yes, I do miss that sense of progression. I do miss YouTube seeing the amount of subscribers going up. Um, and I s miss in the gym seeing uh, weights go up like that. Um, then you might wonder why can't I continue progressing in the Temple of Iron now? Yes, because um, I have more or less reached my genetic potential and if you want to break through that you have to go to the dark side supplement, so to speak, and I won't take any of that. I might take TRT when I get older if my testosterone drops, but I have no, I have no wish to jeopardize my health to um, to to get the sense of progression in the gym. But that being said, I will get shredded for summer. I will get into great shape, take some epic pictures. Um, this is another video, but I do, of course, I do view myself as an artist. Um, my physique, my masterwork. So I want to create some art come summer. Uh, that's my plan, at least. So anyway, I don't know if this rambling out here in the beautiful winter landscape was any enlightening at all or you perhaps just admired the view i don't know but thank you for watching anyway and i will see you on um, on all links in the description box below xxo boom now i actually forgot something 
of utmost importance and this is if you are a um, you know you're a skinny guy you're a weak guy you are a, you are a fat girl or whatever it might be and you feel a bit self-conscious you feel a bit you know nervous going into the gym or you feel a bit out of place um, you wonder oh what will these other individuals think of me and I can just say this also from the perspective of well someone like me uh, I said it in a recent video but I would just like to mention it again you know I have respect for you who are actually in there trying to improve yourself because for every one of you you know if you are nervous and you feel a bit um, yeah out of place or whatever there are a hundred other like you who are still on uh, uh, on the sofa eating some something bad watching Netflix so don't be afraid that someone like me will look on you and say oh what's what is he or she doing there no we are delighted that you are there if you are polite and nice and everything of course just you know decent manners will get you far in all aspects of life I assure you uh, so think about it instead of being nervous it's a bit like going into a church if you go into a church you see other people they might pray for something you you won't judge them you are there because maybe you want to pray for something or in my case you're there to uh, to admire the art and architecture and stuff uh, point being everyone is there for a reason and no one really has any 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 interest in in what you're doing uh, so instead of thinking that oh these other people they're looking on me they're judging me they are this or that not the case and on the contrary and I'm sure I can speak for some of the guys in various gyms I've met over all these years I've been you know helpful and polite because you know that's how I would like to have been treated in such a situation uh, and there have been you know when I was younger older guys stronger guys who have you know given me pointers and you and it's usually the the strongest guys who are the most polite then of course to keep in mind you know if um, if someone is tight on time which I might be a lot these days yeah I won't have the time to talk for for an hour or something but yeah in in general uh, people are friendly same thing if you are an overweight girl or something um, no one there will judge you unless you go unless you go to a gym full of scumbags uh, then change gyms but the absolute majority of people they are there to focus on themselves they are there, they are there to focus on their own goals just as the people in the church they focus on their own prayers uh, or what they want to do so keep that in mind now thank you for watching xxo Ooh.